Hey everybody, Hat Creature here. Been a little bit since my last video, just taking some time off trying to find myself. And uh, I found something. I found something that I think I'll really like. Uh, so first off, it's called Tormentor. It's not exactly completely in the screen. But anyway, so uh, Tormentor is made by the same studio that made Agony and Succubus. Uh, that's actually how I found this game. I was going to get Succubus, uh, but then I found this game. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the trailer, some bits and pieces, and then I'll just talk about it. Basically, if you've seen the movie Hostel... That's kind of what this is. You don't play as the victim. You play as the bad guy. And for those of you who've been on my channel, for those of you who've been following me, you guys know I enjoy playing the bad guy. So basically the whole point of this game is that you get to torture people. Just gonna pause it right there. Um, and you sell footage of your torture devices to people on the web. You get money, and then you can actually... This is the fun part. You get to actually upgrade your lair. Elige a tus victimas. I think that's cool. It's not often that you actually get to customize your base of operations. Uh, now, in Resident Evil Resistance, which is, you know, a first game I played on here, uh, I was able to customize my weapons and my creatures and things like that. But customizing your lair, customizing your base, that's fun. I, have a, I love dungeons. Uh, I love creating a dungeon for people to walk into and see if they can survive. That's why I enjoy Resident Evil Resistance. Uh, when it came out, and, and that's why I had so much fun, because I could create something for people to walk into, but now I can actually literally customize a dungeon, and it keeps getting better. Yes, you get to choose your victims. So this is a prison, okay? So this is a prison, and they're all sentenced to death, according to the bio. You get to choose which one of them, and you get to torture them, yada, yada, yada. And there is a story behind this, may maybe. <laughs> On Steam, it says that the official story for this is that you're going insane. Obviously, you already are insane. But you're trying to make money for a drug that keeps you from sober. That's the official thing of the, of the game. It, it, whatever. But... The victims are actually prisoners in an abandoned prison. And so that's who you're torturing. But it keeps getting better. You get to let your prisoners out to play. So you get to let them out in your prison, in your dungeon. They get to bind you and kill you while you get to do the same. And I'm not going to show you anymore because this is a gory, bloody game. And the comment section for everywhere I see it is that it's going to get banned the moment it comes out. And I understand that. Uh, some games are just so brutal, so realistic, and you could say downright evil, uh, that they just wouldn't be released by any respectable platform. Uh, the game Hatred... Uh, was banned when that first released. Um, and there are some other games that were just taken completely off stores because of how horrible they were. Um, now, yeah, some people have said this is a snuff film lover's dream. If you enjoy torture, sick fantasies, that's basically what this game is for. But it's more than that. It's not only a dark, twisted fantasy. Like I said... You get to customize your dungeon. That's fun. You get to be the bad guy. You get to customize your home. You're getting paid. 
you get to choose people that you want to hunt down. And then it's like every asymmetrical multiplayer game. They're prowling around the arena, and you're looking for them while they're hunting you. I think that's fun. That's awesome. Now, no word yet on whether this is multiplayer. It's probably just single player. Uh, it's probably just AI. And you'll be hunting AI. But if the AI is good, then that's great. It, it, it doesn't have to be a multiplayer game. This is the part I'm most fascinated by. Well, this and customizing my dungeon, to be honest. Uh, I, I just love building and crafting, to be honest. So I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I'm still going to be playing VHS when that comes out, and that's going to be the main thing on my channel when that comes out. Uh, no word yet on when this game comes out, because... Look at that trailer. That was last year. It's almost going to be a full year. Almost. And on Steam, to be announced. We don't know when this is coming out. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a Discord. This is not their Discord server. This is the channel's Discord server. Sorry. There. Not that Discord server. So I don't know when this game comes out. Uh, maybe it'll be soon. Maybe it'll be another year or two. But this is something I'm going to be keeping my eye on. Because, uh... This part, that's fun. You know, it's fun to play the bad guy. That's what draws me in. And this is like the epitome of being that evil bad guy. Uh, and the more money you make in the game, the more different tools you can get. But now, now I don't know how serious they're going to take this game. I don't know if you can change characters or if you can customize characters. That would be cool. You know customizing your own character to torture these people to chase after them although i don't know but anyway yeah let me know your thoughts it's a gruesome gory bloody game and uh i don't even know if i'll be able to be, even be able to put footage of it to be honest <laughs> but yeah let me know what your thoughts are i'm excited anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like subscribe if you haven't already um I don't know what video I'll be making next or popping out. Don't know when I'll be coming back for uh, for real. But it will happen. Don't worry. I'm still here. And as always, I still hope that you are having a great day. Happy late Halloween. And I'll see you next time.